Well, the wild weather causing big problems for a Milwaukee family. Yeah, they were inside the upper unit of their south side home when lightning struck it. Fox 6's Ashley Sears explains nearly everything was damaged in the fire. It was completely insane. A start to the day this yeah, family yeah. won't ever forget. Went to go turn the shower on and all of a sudden, boom, lightning strikes. And it's then after it sounds like an explosion. Last Monday, as Evan Robinson was getting ready for school, his plans quickly changed. And he said, Mom, that the room's making a humming noise and the outlets are sparking and I smell smoke. Tammy Forsyth looked out the window near Quincy and Layton, thinking a tree nearby was struck by lightning. I ran outside and looked, and I seen bricks from the chimney on the driveway. She quickly realized the home had been hit. The minute I saw the smoke coming out, I just knew I had to get everybody out of the house. Forsyth woke up her younger kids and the family living below before flames spread. That was my room right there, the one that's boarded up. From the street level, the damage is barely visible, but a closer look inside shows the upstairs is destroyed. Everything that wasn't destroyed by the fire has been contaminated by smoke and water. To make matters worse, they do not have renter's insurance. They've started a GoFundMe page to help get back on their feet. I worked to get everything in that room and now it's all covered in a ceiling that was cut out. Despite everything, they're now counting their blessings. I was really lucky that all my kids are okay and still here. And that's just the most important thing. In Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Ashley, thank you. If you would like to help the family out, we have a link to the GoFundMe page they provided. The three kids living in that house also need clothes. We have information on their sizes and how to give on fox6now.com.